Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. Today we'll be going to solve the question binary trees with factors. This is a lead code medium and the number for this is 823. So in this question we are given with an array of integers where uh, we know that each integer is actually greater than 1 and uh, we have to construct binary trees using these integers and given a condition that uh, every non-leaf node every non-leaf node should be equal to the product of its value of children. So let's see an example first of all we have an example 2 and 4 so the number of trees are 3 actually so if we see the trees so we have a single node tree as 2 single node tree 4 and then we have a tree with the root as 4 and children as, as 2 and 2 so this is a valid binary tree because the children is 2 and 2 and 2 and 2 after multiplying becomes 4 so let's consider another example so we have an example ARR equal to 2, 4, 5 and 10. So um, if I tell you about the intuition, the problem can be solved using dynamic uh, programming. The idea is to iterate through all the elements in the array for each element. We calculate the potential uh, factors and then compute the number of binary trees that can be formed. This can be done by considering the number of uh, binary trees that can be formed with the factors with the left subtree and the right subtree. So in this example, if we see Suppose we have element 2, so a single tree node can be single node tree can be formed using 2, so we add 1 to the answer. Then we have 4, so a single node tree can be formed using 4, and also another tree can be formed, which is 4, 2, 2. So that's why we have added 2, and total becomes 3. Then comes 5, so only a single tree can be formed using 5, so, add, so we add 1, and then comes 10. So, 3 trees can be formed using five, 10. How? Because you see 10, then we tend to calculate the factors. So, we find 2 as a factor and then we find 5 as a factor. So, using these two factors and swapping them, 2 more trees can be formed, which is 10 to 5 and 10 5 2. So, the total becomes 7 in this way. So, this was a dry run of a example now let's start with the code so in the code section first of all we will sort the array so okay we have sorted it and then we will also have a answer to store the number of ways then we will create a hash map and that to of integer and integer and what is this hash map for it is to store the number of ways to form a binary tree for each element in an uh, array the key element is the element itself and the value will be the number of ways now in the next step, we will iterate through each and every element in the array. So for each x in ARR, we define long ways equal to 1. Here we have set ways to 1 because a single element can also form a tree, which is a single node tree. So that's why we have initialized it with 1. And then we will iterate, we will try to find all the factors. So the max factor which can be formed is actually mat.sqrt x this is simple math because uh, the greatest factor of any number is nothing but the square root of itself so this, so this is the maximum factors and we will iterate till max to find the num all the factors and then we uh, check if it is in the array or the map or not so this is our uh, logic then we have int j equal to 0 and we will also define a left equal to arr of 0 and we will continue to search the entire array before the max so if we find the if we find the uh, element or the factors so that's fine then left is less than uh, max actually we have to check till max and left 
equal to AR of I plus 1 uh, actually it is plus plus J not I plus J because we have, we haven't defined I actually here so we have to do plus plus J and we first of all check if left is actually a factor of this if left is factory if not a factor then we'll, it is of no use to continue in the loop so we pass on to the next iteration otherwise if it is a factor we define the right and we need to find this right in in the ways suppose if x was 10 and left was 5 so right becomes 2 and we need to find 2 in the element now if map dot contains so we tend to find the right and ways equal to to the ways actually plus map dot get left into map dot get right into if left and right are equal which is in the case of 4 2 2 then we will multiply only 1 otherwise we, uh, if they are not equal in case of 10 to 5 then we multiply 2 so that's why if right then we give uh, 1 otherwise we give it 2 and uh, the answer is actually given in the form of modulus we haven't mod defined the mod here so we'll do it just here we can define map dot put x now we use otherwise answer equal to I think we haven't defined the mod so we'll just define the mod here this map too long uh, because the ways which we are using is actually long so okay this sample test case passes accepted a very good run time and a very good memory and if I talk about the time complexity the time complexity is actually n into square root of the max value and n is the number of element in the array and the max value is the maximum of the element in the array and the space complexity, complexity is O of n which is used to in the hash map so this was my solution to today's question please do like the video please subscribe to the channel and please share it with your friends and guys I do need your support thank you for watching the video have a nice day